morning students this is lesson number 1 of chapter 5 matter and chemical formulae so today we are going to learn what is matter what is the composition of matter what is an atom and how is the structure of an atom first matter everything around you is matter matter can be solid liquid or gas toys are matter balloons are matter water is matter too some matter has parts that are too small to be seen so what is matter anything that has mass occupies a space and can be perceived by our senses is called matter now what is an atom matter is anything that takes up space and has mass all matter is made up of atoms atoms are the building blocks of matter sort of how bricks are the building blocks of the houses now let us look at the properties of an atom an atom is the smallest unit that has the characteristic properties of a substance it cannot be seen by unaided eyes or naked eyes or even with a standard microscope in solids atoms are tightly packed together in liquids they are loosely packed whereas in gases there is a lot of space between them before moving on towards the structure of an atom let me explain that an atom is made up of even smaller particles which are called subatomic particles they are protons neutrons and electrons the center of an atom is called nucleus it consists of protons and neutrons now let us watch an av to understand better what is matter states of matter matter can exist in three states solid liquid and gas let us see why matter exists in three different states in matter molecules are always in a state of random motion the higher the temperature the faster the molecules move molecules are attracted to each other by intermolecular force it is the molecular arrangements in matter that decide whether a particular substance would exist in one state or other solid state in certain substances the molecules are tightly packed so the intermolecular attractive forces are very strong the space between the molecules is very small therefore the molecules can have very little movement such substances are in solid state liquid state in certain substances the molecules are not tightly packed so the intermolecular attractive forces are relatively weak and the space between the molecules is relatively large therefore the molecules have free movement however the molecular motion is not so great as to completely overcome the forces of attraction between molecules such substances are in liquid state gaseous state in certain substances the molecular motion is so fast that it overcomes the intermolecular forces and the molecules are far removed from one another the spaces between them are very large and they can have free movement such substances are in the gaseous state and molecules the smallest particle of an element is called an atom an element is made up of only one kind of atom for example all atoms of oxygen are identical and atoms of nitrogen are identical atoms 
sometimes exist alone and sometimes in groups. In gaseous elements such as hydrogen, nitrogen, chlorine, etc., atoms exist in groups of two each and such a group of atoms is called a molecule. A molecule of an element contains two or more atoms of the same element. For example, two atoms of oxygen exist as a pair in a molecule of oxygen gas. The number of atoms in a molecule of an element is known as its atomicity. The atomicity of oxygen, hydrogen, nitrogen, chlorine, etc. is 2. Three atoms of oxygen combine to form ozone. So, the atomicity of ozone is... An atom is the smallest particle of matter that has independent existence. It is too small to be viewed even under a powerful microscope. To understand the structure of an atom, we can visualize an atom as a sphere. The atom has two major divisions. In the center of the atom, there is a nucleus. The size of the nucleus is extremely small compared to the size of the atom. Observe that the nucleus consists of two types of particles known as protons and neutrons. The electrons revolve around the nucleus in fixed orbits. These are the electron shells. The space around the nucleus in which the electrons revolve determines the size of the atom. Thus an atom consists of three elementary particles, namely proton, neutron and electron. Atoms of different elements are built up from different numbers of these fundamental particles. Shown here are a few examples. If an atom has one proton and one electron, it forms an atom of hydrogen. But if the number of protons, electrons and neutrons are eight each, then we have an atom of oxygen. If 11 protons, 11 electrons and 12 neutrons are present in an atom, it forms an atom of sodium. The electrons are not found scattered around the nucleus. They are arranged in different shells around the nucleus as seen here. Each orbit is associated with a definite amount of energy and is therefore called energy shell or energy level. These energy levels are numbered starting from nucleus outward as 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on or named as KLMN so on. The maximum number of electrons that can be present in a shell is given by the 2n square rule where n is the number of the shell. The filling up of electrons in different shells during the 2n square rule may be understood from the table shown here. So my guys, I hope you understood what we studied today. Based on that, here is your homework. Thank you. Have a nice day.